So welcome to the next in our online series of messages brought to you by the friends at First Church Rally. This is Reverend Tom Bentley, the pastor, hoping that these messages can help you in your life journey. If you want to know more about First Church Rally, there's a little information for you at the end of this video. And so welcome. It's time for us to look at the words of Mary, the Mag Magnificat. So grace to you and peace from our friend Jesus. A lot of things have happened in this year of 2022 as we come to the end. We're approaching Christmas Day and we're toward the end of Advent. For me, there were a number of personal moments. Death of a brother, but also the birth of my first grandchild. And all of these events they tend to change our inner emotional landscape. My psychic trajectory is changed a bit by the birth of this little baby. You know, there's 350,000 babies born each year on this planet. So you say, well, what's one less or one more? Oh, no, no. This is, this is the whole story of what we might understand Christmas to be. The lectionary readings bring us to that moment in the Gospel of Luke, the beginning of Luke, where uh, Elizabeth finds out she's pregnant with this child who was to become John the Baptist, and Mary, through a circuitous series of events, finds herself pregnant and she's the cousin of Elizabeth, and so she decides to visit Elizabeth. And there's this moving moment when the two women, both of whom were surprised at their pregnancy, Elizabeth was way past the age of bearing children, yet this miraculous event is coming to pass. And the two babies in each, in one womb and the other, leap in recognition when they know one and the other are present. It's... Uh, an amazing thing, and, and Mary offers this burst, this prayer, it's called the Magnificat, which means the magnification, and she says, I'm bursting with good news, I'm dancing the song of my Savior God. God took one good look at me, and look what happened, I'm the most fortunate woman on earth, what God has done for me will never be forgotten. The God whose very name is holy, set apart from all others. The greatness of this canticle is that it embraces the whole sweep of the story of Israel and that of what we can call the incarnate Word of God, the whole sweep of Mary's trust and complete openness to God is alive in this. And we're blessed when we are able to contemplate this idea that she's bursting. She's, my soul magnifies the Lord. My, in the New International Version, the translation reads, my soul glorifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. This idea of expansion into a realm that is not to be understood by the human being. It's beyond our human comprehension, the possibility that we are in, in this life of newness each moment. Each baby born is a newness, a statement of the full thrust of creation into this richness of possibility. Each child born, we are magnified exponentially moving forward to a greater degree of truth and hope and justice and redemption. And that's what Mary is saying. She says, God has performed mighty deeds with his arm. He has scattered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. He has brought down rulers from their thrones, but has lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things but has sent the rich away empty. This bursting with good news is a realignment of creation, of the universe, of the human community, and the faithful 
gathered folks understand those of us who follow Jesus that we're part of this Abrahamic promise this idea of the fullness of God dwelling among us and even inside us this is the gift this is the gift for this giving season this newness of possibility this hope for this vision of justice and fairness the correction of all ills and wrongs this is the gift for this giving season the true gift that every human heart yearns for not the material things not those silly things we collect to avoid life's depths and intimacy but the very gift of grace that can make even the road of life that can heal the brokenhearted that can bring a wholeness of God to our very presence that's the new birth the new life that's available that can draw us to the full promise of God's love and folks who follow Jesus see him among other things as the expression of this fullness of grace so do you, or, or can you? <laughs> Maybe the answer is yes on this day as you wait for Christmas 2022. Maybe your answer is yes. And maybe that's your Christmas present for the year. So in the spirit of that magnifying of God's love beyond measure, I say thank you for being with us. Amen. So thank you for spending time with us. If you'd like to know more about the First Congregational Church of Rowley, you can go online at First Church Rowley. And of course, we'd always like to hear from you. You can call us anytime at 978-948-3993. So blessings and best wishes to you in your journey of faith in this time and season of deep reflection. Goodbye.